All right, Coach, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Nothing like the NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Denver Broncos and the Kansas City Chiefs. On the return, here's Kerwin Williams. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now movement already. So a flag down here on our very first play. Who moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? A false start backs him up five. First and 15. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. First look is incomplete. Not that time for Watkins, and that'll bring up second down. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And out across midfield down to the 45. That goes for a gain of 31. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive the team towards a victory. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Well, he's looking sharp right from the get-go here. Tough division. They needed this kind of a start. But I think this is part of where scripting comes in. We always hear about the scripting of plays, how they're going to be called. Everyone dress rehearses their script, and right now they're following it to a T. And for that opening drive, so part of the script's still to come, right, partner? Yeah, no doubt about it. We've got a ways to go with that, but you can tell that they worked on the script the entire week in practice, and it's paying off for them. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And a short gain down to about the 33. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. This is Kerwin Williams, his first carry. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 
It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. now on first down under pressure and he'll go down sacked back at the 31 hindsight is 2020 partner maybe they should have kept it on the ground again well it almost looked like the o-line was run blocking again i mean they opened up a big hole last time this time they opened up a hole and the quarterback got sacked don't need it all back at once but you figure they're going to need something hey, hey, here hey, 17 hey, hey. yards to go on second down hey, hey. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And the kick by Butker is good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. It's a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. Keenum going to lead the Broncos up now first and 10. And they'll run it here. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. There's Keenum now on second down. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. A shotgun snap for Keenum. He's going to rifle one deep left. And got his man complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And that one results in 35 yards. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. On first down, it's Keenum. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, 
it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. to the air. Keenum on second down. Throw left side. It's reeled in by Hamilton. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Broncos with their first trip to the red zone thus far. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. Now the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Let's go, let's go. Play action. Now Keenum. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Troy Fumagalli from eight yards out. And the Broncos have taken the early lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody. But those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either the size, speed, or maybe even just strength. McManus's point after is good, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. McManus on to kick this one off. Fielded about a yard deep. Ooh, with a juke. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback. But as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. And he'll go on the ground. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Let's go, let's go. Keenum throwing on second. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Thomas, the intended target. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Ace! Ace! Left! 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 Watch out for Freeman! Watch out for Freeman! Watch out for Freeman! Sponge! Sponge! 
So after the INT, here's Mahomes. He's going to float this one deep right side. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. They give him a gain of 37. Meanwhile, on the NFL scoreboard, a game going on in Chicago. And it's the Bears who are off to the early lead. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll hand it off now, Williams. Williams loses the football. The Broncos say they have it, they do. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Following the fumble recovery, it's Keenum. Complete out right to Jake Buck. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. down carry here for McCoy. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty. But it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Working from the gun, Keenan. And he will have a man, Demarius Thomas. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Keenum now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. Shotgun snap for Keenum. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here as that will take us. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Bronco football to begin quarter number two, but they face a second and long to start things out. Gun, Keenum. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. On third and long, it's Keenum. And incomplete as the screen there unsuccessful. So now fourth down coming up. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. 
He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Mm -hmm. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Mahomes now to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect.